what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty Savior we have, King of Kings, Prince of Peace, the Alpha and the Almighty, the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Emmanuel, God with us. Special greetings to you in the name of Jesus, children of God. My name is Pastor Nicholas Bittemazile and I'm here to present to you the word of truth. My subject to you, this particular moment is entitled, Don't Dig a Pit for Anyone. And we will take our scripture from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8, the first half of the verse. The Bible says, He who digs a pit will fall into it. You see, I love the words of the wise man because they bring to us gems for practical living. Due to sin, brother and sister, due to sin, man is naturally selfish. He would rejoice in seeing others fall. Often it is geared towards control. And this desire often is also as a result of a longing for revenge. And many times these people, they want to pull down those who are higher than them. This is why in the book of Psalms chapter 62, verse 3 and 4, the Bible says, How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a totaling fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. This is the nature of the human carnal mind. We often desire to bring down others. We often desire to remain the only one standing while we ensure that the rest are subdued. If it is about opinion, we always want our opinion to thrive and to override the others. And if it is recognition, it is always human nature to desire that we are recognized ahead of others. And because of this, many times people tend to plot and to dig a pit for others. People tend to plot to character assassinate others so that they may remain the only ones looked unto as viable options. And therefore, the Bible invites us to recognize that we should not dig a pit for others because we could end up falling into it. In the book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 14 to 16, the author says, Behold, the wicked bring forth iniquity. Yes, he conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His trouble shall return upon his own head and his violent dealings shall come down on his own crown. Brother and sisters, the Bible says, says that what goes round will eventually come round. This concept is evidenced clearly by the story of Haman and Mordecai. Haman built a gallow that would seek to claim the life of Mordecai. But with God's intervention, the Bible tells us the same gallow that Haman built for Mordecai, he died by them. And this is what the Bible is speaking to us, that the wicked or we, the people, we can dig a pit, but eventually we would find ourselves falling into our very own pit. And therefore, the Bible invites us not to dig a pit for our brother and sister. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 27 to 29, the writer Solomon speaks to his son and says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I'll give it, when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Brother and sister, let us not treat our brothers and our sisters in a cruel way. Let us seek the welfare of those that we dwell among us. And the Bible says, let us live according to the principle Jesus established for us. Do unto others what you want them to do unto thee, the golden rule of life. And that should govern our life and our experience, my brother and my sister. A book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 10 says, says, do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. 
my brother and my sister, oftentimes when people begin to get affluent, when people begin to have some accomplishment, they seek to sit on others, they seek to subdue others, and in the process they often establish traps and pits for others. But I submit to you the Bible is saying that you will fall in your very own pit. And therefore, my friend and my brother and my sister, the counsel from the word of God today is that do unto others what you would like them to do unto you. Some people do not want to forgive. And yet Jesus said that in our prayers we should always speak to God thus, forgive us of our wrongs even as we forgive those who do wrong us. And so God expects us that we would forgive those who wrong us so that even us would be able to benefit from the forgiveness of God who we have offended. My brother and my sister, I do not know what is in your life, but what I'm simply saying today is, in all your dealings, do unto others good. Seek their welfare. Make peace with all men and live at peace with all men as far as it is possible with you. May God help us to grant unto us wisdom to apply ourselves in such a way that we will be walking according to the scripture and according to the living word of God. May God bless you, Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, grant to us the humility to always seek for the welfare of our friends, of our brothers, and of all those around us, that we may seek to do good and not evil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.